Good morning people, welcome back to a beautiful sunny Tuesday. Right, well first of all today, something different. Um, I'd like to introduce somebody to you with this short clip. Now that was my 11 year old granddaughter Eleanor. Um, I said I was going to post it. Um, yeah, ever so proud of her. She's got the moves. She's learning a very valuable lesson as far as I'm concerned. Maybe she is taking a bit after me. Um, but looking at it, I just wish that I'd learnt to duck like that at that age. That way I wouldn't have this whistle masquerading as a set of dentures now. <laughs> but well done, Eleanor. Keep going, girl. Keep going. Absolutely wonderful. So what did you think of her then, people? She, oh, she's lovely. But anyway, now let's get into <laughs> yesterday, shall we? Uh, most of you have heard by now, but what the... The new Chancellor has done, um, without any backing from Chucky, by the way it looked. But it was like a bloody TV show, watching all this. I mean, they dropped Penny Morden right in at the deep end, and just threw her <laughs> to the wolves, <laughs> the, the Labour Party, on her own on the, the front bench to answer all the, the shit. And she took it all as well from the other side, and she gave some back. But then, like a big entrance, fashionably late, Chucky and her uh, so-called underling <laughs> walks in to cheers. And, well, but it was like watching a bloody game show. The only thing that was missing was the high fives. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, the left was slating him in every which way. And to be honest, he hasn't changed a lot. Because most of what was discussed, what they said was going to be bought in, hasn't actually been bought in and passed yet. So he hasn't really changed anything. They've just amended it. Um, but we're getting the extra pittance put back on income tax now. And it just goes to show what I've said. They steal pennies from us. Um Fair enough, they left the drop in national insurance in place, which I think for what we're getting for it, it should be lowered even more. But they put corporation tax up. Now, this is going to put a hell of a lot of small businesses out of business. and Or they'll just try and suffer and go under because they can't afford any more tax. They're struggling now. Um, they removed the freeze on duty on alcohol. Yeah, they realised how much tax they're getting on that now. I'd expect that to go up, to be honest. But they've left, took the cap off the bonuses again for the bankers. So their Christmas has come early, basically. And in my opinion, my opinion, that to me smacks as a bribe for lending them more money. I mean, that was just a thought that went through my head when I heard that one. I mean, the energy price crap, although we were told it was going to be in place for two years, now it's only going to be in place until next April, at which point it will be reviewed. So we can expect that to go up. And the help people are getting with that energy and the price of it 
we had a little bit of settlement and a little bit of thing we could rely on there that this was going to be in place again for two years to help with energy prices and energy bills. Now that is to be reviewed again in April. So they've gone right back on that. And we can guarantee they won't put that up, that that will be dropped somehow or at least drastically lowered. And the new the new line we heard a lot from them yesterday, along with the word fiscal, which has always been being banded about now. I hate that bloody word. <coughs> and I'll quote this is we need to stabilize the country before we can implement um, cost of living measures unquote well to put that in English it means we will starve and freeze while the rich get richer and they just make up their minds on what direction they're going to shit on us from this time but they won't be the ones going without Christmas dinners but they will be the ones that will be sat there eating their dinners without giving a thought to anybody else in the country. <laughs> and as always now, it's Russia's fault. Don't forget, apparently, according to the government, it's Russia's fault. No, it's not. <laughs> it's down to your faults, not Russia's. But somebody said watching all this unfold, somebody I was chatting to on the phone yesterday said it was like watching a, a, a docudrama. Um, to me, no, it's more of a docu-comedy. <laughs> <It's, laughs> you know, and, and where was Chucky throughout all this? Well, she just sat there. Didn't say a word from the moment she walked in to the minute she walked out. Um, my opinion, she's not the one in charge here. She's just the front person. <laughs> but that, that's the basics of what I got from yesterday. There, there's nothing there to help us. There's nothing there to help us with the cost of living. Far from it. And I, I'm still of the opinion that I don't think she'll be there at Christmas. They will have replaced her by then. There's already moves from other MPs on their own benches. But uh, anyway, moving on. That's enough of them. We didn't learn a lot from them. But what happened in Manchester over the weekend? Um, I only saw about this yesterday. Uh, apparently there was a bit of um, a protest outside the Chinese embassy, which is in Manchester. A bit of flag waving, uh, something to do with Hong Kong or something out there that the Chinese are doing. I don't dive, dive into that much because uh, it doesn't interest me. Um, but yeah, there was a bit of a protest going on. And what happens? Well, some of the embassy staff came out and started attacking the protesters, although the protesters were peaceful. And they started dragging some of them in to the embassy, apparently. And uh, the police couldn't really do a thing because they're not allowed in there or on the ground because it's classed as Chinese territory. So all they could do was stand at the gates and try and pull them back. Which I found quite amusing. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, what... Yeah, I haven't heard of any arrests there yet, but, um, you know, where's the mainstream media coverage on this? Not hearing about that, are we? But they will cover these eco-loons climbing up on the bloody Dartford Bridge, causing absolutely chaos. You know, I mean, this is one of the main routes to the docks, um, Gatwick Airport, I think it is. Is it Catwick or the other one? One of the airports. And the police had to close the road. Saying health and safety and what have you. And with these idiots up there. <coughs> to me, I'd just leave the twats up there. Leave them up there. 
if they fall, they fall. It's their own fault. They shouldn't have been up there, as far as I'm concerned. Um, sorry if it's a bit dark in here this morning. I've, I've just noticed I forgot to turn my light on. But, hey. <laughs> yeah, but th these little wankers are the ones that are forcing the government to change um, the protest laws which is going to mean they'll be able to clamp down on other types of protests. No, what you need to do is use the full force of the laws you've already got and throw these little assholes in the clink. But anyway, guys, time's getting on. <coughs> I'll leave that there for today. I've got the lovely Heather working upstairs from home again today, so... But I still have to do my daily chores. <laughs> so until the next time, guys, as always, thank you for your support. And my respects to each and every one of you for that support. And, oh well, as always, stay safe. Stay strong. Don't let these clowns frighten you. Respect people.